regardless of what changes might happen in this year's legislative session, the association is going to be required to perform some type of inspection and are, will be required to have some type of mandatory reserves in order to, of course, pay for those inspections and fund the reserves, you need to make sure that the unit owners that are in the association are financially able to pay for the inspections and the reserves and the assessments to fund them. So we do recommend that you review your governing documents to determine what type of screening protocol you have for prospective purchasers. Um, this will likely require an amendment to your declaration but we do recommend that you consult with your attorney as to what options are the best options for the association, as well as what options would be feasible for the association. The screening requirements can require some type of credit check or financial background check to make sure that the owner is going to be financially responsible and pay the assessments on time. You can also require that all the assessments are to be paid by the unit owner. Um, of course, that happens usually pursuant to a sale, but you can also require if it, the unit owner is planning on leasing the unit that the, all the assessments are current at that time. Regarding approval of tenants, of course, you also can decide whether or not you wanna screen the tenants for their financial um, responsibility and can request a credit report for that. Um, another option is you may want to consider is whether or not you want to limit the number of units that one person owns. Um, if the association has to levy increased assessments or special assessments to pay for the inspections or the funding of the reserves, if you have an owner with multiple units and that owner is not able to pay, that could create a financial hardship on the association having multiple units um, behind in the delinquents. Um, regarding approvals of sales, you can uh, require, like I said, a some type of credit check or financial report. Um, there is a constitutional right to convey property. Um, so you will need to consult with the attorney to decide whether or not you can make that a part of your governing documents and um, whether or not you will be required to produce another buyer, basically a right of first refusal in the instance that you deny that application. Um, there are times that you can place in there that you will not be required to produce another buyer if the person is not financially responsible or cannot demonstrate that they will be financially responsible. Um, but this is something that needs to be reviewed and vetted by your attorney.